What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ricky and this is where we review home gyms. So if you have a home gym and you want to see it on the channel, go through the link down below to get it on here. And if you're going to be doing any home gym shopping, also go through the links down below because it does help the channel. But anyways, on Fridays we normally do influencer or celebrity home gyms and I was doing some looking, some Googling on home gyms, and I came across Meg Squat's home gym from, it was like three years ago, and I remember watching that video way back in the day, thinking how cool of a home gym it was and how cool a home gym would be. That might be before I even started following Coop's stuff. I'm not sure. But anyways, I was like, well, that's a pretty old video. I'm sure she has a new one. So I searched it, and I came across what I thought was a new home gym video but I watched about the first probably 90 seconds and I think it might be an actual gym. So we're gonna take a look at it anyways, because well, to be honest, I make the rules. But if you guys don't wanna look at this stuff, do let me know down below. But I think it's close enough or at least a hybrid home gym slash actual gym that it's at least worth looking at. I did see a little bit of ghost stuff in there and we know we all like ghost equipment, so we're going to take a look at it. Hello, my strong, strong friends. Okay, the day has come. We are going to reveal the gym. So we have so much more equipment. We have murals, and we've been working on branding this gym so that it's exciting and cool, and it is all of those things and more. I can't wait for you to see it. I've asked you guys to guess what you think the gym will be called, and the answers <laughs> have been not even close to what it is. It does represent more than a gym for us. This is the place where we're calling home. But let me just stop talking and I'm gonna show you right now. If they call it a home and it is a gym, I do feel like that makes it a home gym, right? Maybe? That might be a little bit of a stretch. All right. Welcome to Buff Chick Barbell. This is my baby. You may have, that's the Buff Chick. Her name is Buffy. All right, so let's get into the tour so I can show you guys all the equipment that we have. The final equipment that we were waiting on was everything from Ghost Strong. Everything in the gym, for the most part, is from either Ghost or Rep Fitness. So I'm gonna link every piece of equipment that we have. Let's start with the new stuff, the stuff that you guys haven't seen in any videos until now. Uh, before, once you got to this platform, this was just empty dead space. So now we have four complete stations. We've got two combo racks on this side, so you can squat or bench on this side. Those ghost combo racks, I haven't personally used one, but I really want one. Not enough to buy one, because they're probably like five grand, especially when they're custom and everything like that. But they are sweet. I'm a big combo rack guy. I like Ghost. These were made from Ghost, obviously. You can see all the Ghost stickers and Ghost branding. And then... Ooh. I don't like that those are stickers. That's a really expensive piece of equipment. Definitely expected that to have a badge rather than a sticker, but that's just my opinion. Of course, on the bottom of the bench, you have the custom Buff Chick Barbell logo. That Everything is, cool. is really pretty, beautiful Buff Chick blue, and I just love the color. It's probably my favorite color, like a kind of turquoise -y, bright cyan. Those are the combo racks. Really good if you're training with someone who's not your height to raise your barbell. Fully loaded. Fully loaded. So you won't have to take off all the plates to change the height of the bar. Behind the combo racks, we have a gun rack for barbell storage. We did just get this bar, the Buffalo, Duffalo bar, from Chris Duffin and Kabuki. We also picked up some farmer. Speaking of, did you guys see that Rogue just came out with one? Looks pretty sweet. 
You might want to check it out. Handles from Rep Fitness. Emmerich's bar is a sad, rusty bar that we got on Craigslist from a gym that was like getting rid of equipment. I think it cost us like $20, so <laughs> we're getting him an upgrade. Don't tell him. This side, and first talk about this sick. Oh my God, I love this. Plate storage system. Whoa. We saw this at Hybrid Performance Method. That's definitely the coolest weight tree or weight storage system we've seen on the channel so far. Such a cool way to display all your plates. We're able to fit it right in the middle of where everyone is using plates. Put our logos in and you've got the ghost strong. Everything is engraved, so it's really nice, high quality. Um, it's not just they, engraved, there's like four layers to get all the colors there. Yeah, it's nuts. This so that's more what I expected to see on the combo rack. I'd assume the stuff on the bottom, the Buff Chick and the Ghost logo, that's probably nicer. I don't like the stickers that are on there, just to clarify. Obviously that is done very well. This is huge because before we were just putting everything on the floor, <laughs> which wasn't really safe. It's definitely and a hazard. I am concerned about safety, especially because we have Emmerich training here who's eight. Almost everything has a place. I love the cages. One of the best things about them is that they're made for power lifters. So when you're at your squat range, the increments are probably like two inches. And then when you get down to your bench range, they're much smaller increments so that you can specify it based on your arm length or where you unrack the bar. One of the most annoying things is when you go to a commercial gym, they have like two options and then a safety. So the safety is like on your chest or it's super, super high. If you're a power lifter and need a cage for your garage or whatever, or your gym, commercial gym, then this is what you want to do, or the combo rack, obviously. But everything's so nice and shiny. Both the combo racks have pull-up bars on them. Plate storage is awesome. The plates that we have here are the rep equalizers. I love these plates. They're better than bumper plates if you were with super, super strong people. So we do have another order coming in from rep with more plates. So this will hopefully be more full at least for the 45s. <laughs> These storage bars are like coated so you'll never mess up the color. Yeah, it's they have awesome. like a plastic casing so that- That is pretty top notch. I like that. The paint won't ever chip since you're moving plates in and out of here. Inside our cages right now, we have the rep fat bench in this one, which is super nice. We just got that in. We've been using this rep adjustable bench for a couple weeks now, and I love this. Really comfortable. Like I've been saying for a while, in my opinion, rep fitness best bang for your buck in benches. If you go through the link down below and buy one and tell me, I'll send you a thank you really sturdy and high quality. All right, and of course you guys saw the Buffy mural. All the murals in the gym were done by Leah at Mural Mule, if you're in Texas. She did travel up from Houston to do our murals and I'm so impressed. I think she did an awesome job. And you guys are impressed from the ones that you guys have already seen, so let me know what you think of the Buffy mural next. This is our platform. Ryan built this with his own bare hands. We can do weightlifting or usually we're deadlifting on this, but I think it's great because you have an open view and no like big equipment in front of the Buffy mural. It's awesome because from my office, I can look from my desk and look out the window and see Buffy, which I'm excited about. It's like really inspiring. Simple platform, Ryan made these. It's just plywood and horse stall mats on the side. You just have to cut them to fit. And then we've got the ghost deadlift jack, which is a lifesaver. We didn't have any deadlift jacks Ooh. and Emmerich is a huge fan. Do you like the de deadlift jack now? I do. This is a competition bench from Ghost. We forgot that this was coming, <laughs> to be honest. This is super sturdy. It also has option to use something like bands. So if you wanted to do band resisted bench press, which now I have to do it. But these are cool because usually these would be sticking out, could be a hazard. Push them to the side when you're not using them and it's just like safe. That guy Tim from Ghost is super smart. Let me tell you what else, this was- That's a pretty sweet looking bench. Low key my favorite thing. He has these super cool like metal uh, branding like kind of cutouts bolted in and it's also their plate height. So when you stack 45s on the side, you're not gonna mess up. Well, that, that makes more sense. That's what I expect to see on the rest of the stuff. 
Just do those and then get rid of the stickers. All your paint. Pretty nice. Um, the bar we have on this one is the rep power bar. Uh, we're actually ordering a few more of these. We love the rep bars. We love them. That's it. <laughs> the bench as compared to the combo racks is a little bit different. You can only bench there and it's secured down so you can't remove the bench, um, which is good for just a dedicated bench station. These are all of our dumbbells. These are from Rep Fitness. Like I said, we used to have the adjustable dumbbells and they're awful. So we have dumbbells in increments of five from five to 75. So these are cool because you have, it fits perfectly to secure all of your dumbbells and it's slightly slanted so that they're easy to grab. These That's are pretty cool. super heavy and sturdy, um, but. We were standing on them to do all the banners and yeah. they were <laughs> super strong. Yeah, so we got the custom Buff Chick Barbell logo. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the Ghost Strong branding. Love it. Right in front of the dumbbell rack, we have two adjustable benches from Ghost. Again, are super sturdy, and then you've got the plastic casing so that you don't chip any of the painting right when it's touching metal. So that's really nice. I just love all of the details that he puts into everything with the logos and the color just came out so beautiful. Everything looks so shiny and beautiful. I love it. One of the biggest changes that we've been able to make with coming to this space and having more area, more room, is we've been able to get machines that we necessarily don't need. Like I don't find these to be necessities, but they make your life so much easier and they're just good for bro stuff. So all of these machines in this kind of row on the side of the gym are from Rep Fitness. So first we have the lat pull down machine. You've got a lat pull down with a couple of different handles, a horizontal row. You get a lot of different exercises with just one piece of equipment. I realize it's bulky, not necessarily something you'd have in a garage gym, but it has, I don't know, it just makes bro stuff so much easier. Comparable item that we had in the garage <laughs> gym was a lat pull down machine that was like a pulley and it's great but it's super flimsy. Mm -hmm. It's only like 120 bucks so I still recommend that if you have a garage just so that you get some pulleys and cable work. Um, you kind of have to get creative with how you use it but it works, but this is so Huge much, upgrade. so much better. Huge upgrade. I would say the thing that gets the most action is the rep functional trainer. So you could have two people working at a time, or of course you can do exercises that use both cables, like chest flies, um, other things. That's the only one, huh? <laughs> this one is from rep and it comes with a bunch of different attachments. You can also do lower body movements like, uh, pull throughs and kickbacks, you know, just get crazy. Um, and of course, one good thing is that you have pull up attachment. I really like all the different pull up options that are on there. That's a nice touch. And grips, which now we have more pull up, pull up bars on the cages, but this is great in case you want to do different kinds of grips or a neutral grip so you can work on chin ups and so on. Mm -hmm. so from rep this is from the brand is victory fitness but this is a combo leg extension machine and also hamstring curl machine so this is one of those things where unlike the last two machines you kind of only get to do two different exercises with these i guess you know i've seen people do hip thrusts with the leg extension function of it but yeah this is just good um that's the one thing from training at a garage mm -hmm. gym, it's hard to isolate your quads. So if I were to choose one machine that was like, had one use, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Like compare that to like a strict, like preacher curl kind of machine, like. Yeah, like if I had to pick one isolated machine, I probably won't get too many other machines that are isolated because we don't have that much space. Uh, but this is good for your quads, your hamstrings, knee strength, yeah. On the turf side, we do have turf so that we can do things like sled pulls, have an area to stretch out. In this corner here, we can feature our murals. 
So we have the Stronger Than Ever mural. I had this designed and our friend Leah came in to put that up on a mural so she hand painted that. We gave her the design and she projected it and she was able to hand paint everything. Unbelievable, so all the paint on the walls the Stronger by the Day logo on this side, the Stronger Than Ever mural, and Buff Chick was done by Leah. Corner, we do have a landmine um, and some attachments. These are things that if you have a small space, a landmine is a great thing to invest in. Um, you can use any kind of barbell to hook in and do all kinds of movements. Boom, boom. I've got a couple Instagram posts on different kinds of landmine exercises that you can use. You can also get attachments that hook on to your barbell, and then you can do even more movements. And of course, you load that with regular plates. So that's a versatile tool that you can use to kind of have it in the corner there. We've got our boxes from Rep Fitness. These are super nice because they're not wood boxes. Um, yeah, wood boxes kind of suck because if you do happen to miss the box, you're hitting your shins and that's not gonna feel good. I don't understand why people do the wood boxes. Maybe those are just more expensive, but those are nice because you can do box jumps. Um, you can use them as a surface to do hip thrusts, which is what we do often. And I love them. I love the boxes. This is our whiteboard area where I write the workout every day. And then I keep our training maxes there. We always rate Emirates workouts. This block is focused on concentration, pushing himself, and discipline. So those are his priorities. We like to check in and journal. That's like our form of journaling to make sure he's staying on track and staying motivated and focused. And then over in the last corner of the gym, we've got a rep fitness sled. So you can take these poles out and push from either side. There's also a few attachments you can use to harness or pull the sled and load it with plates. Storage system, it's huge. It's like a million pounds. This was made for kettlebell storage, so we've got more kettlebells from Rep. Storing them on the bottom one there. This may be world's most expensive shoe rack right now. We're gonna get some different storage options, so maybe we'll put the shoes in a different place. <laughs> Slam balls from Rep, a couple of just accessories, Grip Genie stuff from Juju Mufu and Tom, who hooked us up a while ago with some grip training tools. And yeah, this is just where we kind of put some accessories. We do have Stronger by the Day pouches that are for our lifters. By the time this video goes up, they'll be on sale. Sliders, so for all my people still working at home, hopefully this video doesn't make you too jealous. Um, we've got sliders, one long band, five mini bands of different kinds of resistance. <laughs> those packs are on sale at strongchunksupply.com. I'll link those down below. I'll also, like I said, link all the equipment. Next, we have our anatomy charts that we keep up. I put them up specifically for Emmerich so that he can start learning when we're doing certain exercises what muscle he should be activating. He's learning a lot more about anatomy. When he first came in, he didn't really know what a bicep was. Now he knows all about scallops. We're trying to teach him something that would be helpful more than just training and getting strong physically. These are boxes that Ryan makes. All he does is get some two by fours and weaves them and then throw some rubber on them. Add some handles. They're pretty easy to make. They're not as nice as the ones from Rep, but they get the job done. Oh, are you walking home tonight or? <laughs> this is um, battle ropes. We still do need to install a home for them. So there's a few things that we're still doing. Want to install those. And then we also have a ton of bands. Um, this is a crossover symmetry system, which I love crossover symmetry, uh, awesome. Thing that doesn't take up much space that you could have in your home or gym. I'll link those down below too. Mm -hmm. And that's the gym. There's like, what's left? Maybe what's some plates? Left? Oh, the assault bike. Yeah, there's there's a few things coming. <laughs> and I was saying on Instagram, okay, I think the gym's finally done. And a couple people messaged like, a gym's never fully done. Like you're always working on it. And I agree with that. I hope that that's true because I do have some more things to look forward from. I'm still waiting on a few pieces of equipment. Right now, I'm not sure where we're gonna put it, but you might be curious if you're seeing this side, you know, there's this entire side of our warehouse that is for fulfillment of Strong Strong Supply. So we have that and then also some office space. So maybe 
we'll see if we grow out of this space. Obviously we have a ton, we have a lot of warehouse space left. So I don't think we'll need to worry about that anytime soon. Perhaps this could look like something that is a full gym, has a few offices. That's not something we're gonna work on now. Um, yeah, this is our humble abode. I'm so proud of it and I think it looks amazing. There was a lot of people who helped putting this all together from the moment we laid the horse stall mats that were in here when we first moved in to finally getting the rubber floors and receiving so many packages. So we had Diana, who works for Strong Strong Supply, here a lot, helping us receive things and organize things, and she's been able to see it all come together. You know, my brother and I were training months ago in the cold, and it was dirty and it was just looked completely different. Six mats, a couple barbells and some plates. All right, awesome setup, obviously. I would still kind of consider that at least a garage gym. I'm still not really sure if there's, if it's like a membership thing or private training or just an office, but I'm gonna count it as a garage gym for sure. So comment down below what your favorite part of her gym is. While you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe. You're already commenting because you're telling me what your favorite part is. That's all gonna shoot this out into the YouTube world so we can hit that 5,000 subscriber mark. But anyways, my favorite part is the ghost storage system. I think I've only seen that like once or twice before. I wanna say it's in Russell Orhe's gym. And then that hybrid performance that she mentioned as well. I think those are the only times I've seen it. I'm not 100% if it's in Russell's or not, but either way, very cool. One of the certainly most expensive storage systems. It's not really a weight tree per se. So Brandon's weight tree is still at the top of the pedestal of price, but that thing is definitely more expensive, but it's not really a tree. It's more of a, I don't know what you call it, a system. It's a storage system. But anyways, that's all we have for today. If you want me to look at more kind of the influencer, not commercial gyms, but more that type, let me know as well down below because I am open to it. And send in your home gym because our list is running low.